ഇത് കുന്നപ്പള്ളി ദി ചീഫ് എഡിറ്റർ ഓഫ് ഡെസ്റ്റിനേഷൻ കേരള മാഗസീൻ മൈ ഗുഡ് ഫ്രണ്ട് ആൻഡ് എ വെരി സ്ട്രോങ് ബെനിഫാക്ടർ ഓഫ് കേരള സ്റ്റാർട്ടപ്പ് ഇക്കോ സിസ്റ്റം അനിൽ ജോഷി ജി അതർ ഡിഗ്നിറ്ററീസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡയസ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടപ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് അറ്റ് ദി ഔട്ട് സെറ്റ് ലെറ്റ് മീ കൺഗ്രാജുലേറ്റ് ഡെസ്റ്റിനേഷൻ കേരള മാഗസീൻ ഫോർ ഇൻട്രൊഡ്യൂസിങ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടപ്പ് അവാർഡ്സ് പെർഹാപ്സ് ദിസ് മേ ബി ദ ലാർജസ്റ്റ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് അവാർഡ്സ് ബീങ് ഗിവൺ ബൈ ഫോർ ദി സ്റ്റാർട്ടപ്സ് recognizing the contributions celebrating the success and uh, like mr joes rightly point out in a time when you have uh, economic crisis uh, being seen uh, it's a bold attempt to ensure that uh, you still continue to keep the spirit going having said that i think that's also an important thing for us to look at the startup ecosystem in much more closer detail we know that uh, honorable prime minister has uh, told us or sort of motivated us to look at developing india into a 5 trillion economy in the next 5 years those of you who are following uh, economics knows that today we may be little less than half of that size that may be around little more than 2 trillion and basic finance tells you that if you wanted to double an economy in 5 years it has to grow every year by around 14.2% this this a thumb rule called rule of 72 which so you basically divide 72 by that and you get it so in basically we are at a very interesting situation at one end we see that uh, the economy is growing or being slated to grow by many predictions at around 5 to 6% while we really require to grow at 14% which is which we have not achieved i don't think in the in the recent or even the distant past so this is a point where i think we need to start seriously looking at how do we actually achieve these sort of very very stretched targets and i think the startups place are going to play a very important role there we know that uh, today india is considered to be a hotbed of startups maybe third or fourth largest as far as numbers are concerned we have close to around 120000 crores of investment which has come in startup space which is almost as much as what has come into the much much larger sme space in the last year which also shows that there is a and more than that most of the startups are expected to work in areas which can actually trigger the other economic factors the existing companies can grow faster when they introduce and take these products they can actually lead to the growth of uh, the sectors which are ailing like agriculture and uh, uh, some part of industry education many other things so i think this is a point where we need to start looking at whether our startup ecosystem whether it's kerala or india is actually addressing or not we require more and more innovative products when you have big challenges in front of us it cannot be thought in a normal manner it has to be thought completely out of box we need to start looking at solutions which quickly uh, scale up fast and grow into a much much bigger manner when you come to the kerala startup ecosystem you know that uh, um, compared to the well known startup ecosystems in the country where uh, which is bangalore hyderabad uh bombay and ncr region this is primarily driven substantially by the government and also a few private enterprises like uh, destination kerala magazine and few others who support it but still it is primarily driven by the government but if uh, an ecosystem has to grow much much faster you really require a large amount of private participation in that but one good thing or <coughs> is that most of our startups today have actually moved out of what we generally call as the death valley the the failure percentage of startups in kerala has actually come down drastically down today i don't think more than around 30 or 35% of startups get killed or have a demise compared to much bigger startup system but some of the people and pundits in startup ecosystem will say that when you when you when you don't accelerate fast naturally the death also may be slower but having having said that we actually are looking at a very different model in the in the kerala startup ecosystem where we may not be looking at companies which may grow 100x times or 200x times which is common in the context of startup ecosystem but we may look at companies which may grow in maybe 10x 20x at all throughout creating a positive wealth and this is the story of our larger companies also for people who believe that kerala is not entrepreneurial recently dr balagobal who has set up the world's largest uh, uh company right from trivandrum in the conduct in the context of uh, electric uh, blood transfusion systems has actually written a book where he identified 25 companies in from kerala which are actually either are national best or asian best or some of them even the world best you have uh, dentacare from 
Kutatulam or you have uh, SFO Technologies from uh, Cochin. And all of them are in the manufacturing sector. Now, if you look at all these companies, whether it is Vigard or uh, SFO Technologies or whether it is uh, Dendacare, all of them are actually successful companies. They all are making profit and they all actually made a mark of themselves. I think that's a path which startups of Kerala should follow. Only difference is that the time these companies took to become grow big was little longer. Obviously, that was an old economy company. If you can actually mimic that success stories of those companies, what they achieved in 30 years or 20 years, if you can do it in two years, if, or if you can do it in one year or three years, then we have a very different story to script in the startup world. And I believe that most of the awardees today are actually working in the fields where that is possible. We, have, we will be uh, sort of uh, giving the names of the awardees a little later. And once you see this, all of them are working in areas where the potential is huge, the chance of being profitable is very high, and the accelerated growth, growth is really possible. And when you work on such problems, we are actually moving to a world where rather than bringing frivolous products, which may actually catch the eyeballs of an investor, you actually come out with very solid products, which actually help the society and also lead to the economic growth, which I spoke at the start. And that is basically stepping which we need to do. And from Kerala Startup Mission, we are trying to provide that ecosystem to do that. We try to create uh, the spirit of innovation in the schools, in the colleges. We try to create incubators which provide you the support for that. And also, uh, we also associate with funds like uh, what Mr. Anil Joshi is leading, Unicorn, Avengers and many few others, where we have actually invested and in turn they have actually supported the startups here. And we are also trying to bring the mentors and uh, uh, people who are actually supporting that. So I think that's basically the ecosystem uh, which we are trying to develop. We have close to around 2,000 odd companies today, growing in almost at double every year. So we expect that it may reach around 10,000 in the next three to five years time. Across the state, not concentrated only in Trivandrum or Cochin or Kodikod or Kannur, but across the state, this is growing. We have close to around uh, 550 million dollar investment has happened, leave the acquisitions and others, which has happened in the last year. And I believe that these numbers will grow faster. And the best part is many of them are already in the profitable stage. Many of them have already have got uh, uh, serious revenue coming in. Revenues are actually doubling or growing in a fast rate. That's a positive side of it. And I believe that uh, uh, with collective effort of all of us, we, may, we can actually make a very different story. We can def definitely script a very different story for the startup ecosystem in the state. And I once again thank uh, Destination Kerala Magazine for inviting me to be a part of this and also for the entire support which they are extending to the startup ecosystem, telling the nice stories about what is happening because we always hear about uh, uh, negative news in uh, about Kerala in many, many contexts. We, it's important for us also to spread positive news they celebrate the successes so that we stay focused and we will also uh, contribute to the development of the economy as a whole. And that's basically where I think these awards are also going to play a very significant role. Let me once again congratulate uh, Destination Kerala magazine for uh, uh, doing this. And uh, at advance, congratulate all the winners. Uh, and this should, be, uh, it should, this should give you a big boost to the great journey which you are already started and uh, should actually accelerate in the days to come. All, all the very best. Thank you.